What up data nerds? In this quick tutorial, we're gonna be going through how to conditionally format tables. So similar to what you can do in Excel with uh, formatting values based on the value in the column, we're gonna do the same thing here in Tableau. The thing with Tableau, it makes it a little bit more difficult with the functionality that it has, but it's nothing that we can't actually accomplish. So let's jump in. So just to show what we're going to be accomplishing in this quick tutorial is we're going to be looking at the different sales representatives and based on their category, what is the cumulative or sum of the amount of sale, sales that they have. With this, we want to format it based on the value in the table itself. So the higher it is, we want a green color, and the lower it is, we want a red color. So let's start. We begin by starting with a new worksheet and I'm going to go ahead and going to take the two interest points that we want. So the first one being the names of those sales representatives. I'm going to throw that into the rows column. And then also we want to look at this from a categories perspective. So we're going to take the category itself and throw it into the columns. Then from here, you can see that we have no values in here. We can throw whatever we want in here, but for our sake, we're going to throw in sales. So we take sales here and we can either throw it into uh, right here into the table itself, or you can throw it right here into the text column and it will do the same thing. From there, what we're getting is a sum of all the different sales. Uh, inside of the table itself. If you want to change the aggregation me measure, you just right click it and uh, change it. Now let's do the coloring. So we're going to want to color it based on the sum of sales. So we're going to take sales again and take it and drag it over onto colors. And you can see it started to color it where the higher numbers have a darker color. Not fully what we want just yet, but we can play with this. So first, let's get it to the color format that we want. Uh, you can click on colors and click edit colors. And this is the automatic palette. I don't really want this one. I'm going to do this drop down right here and I'm going to select uh, red green diversion. And yes, I want it from the lowest uh, around 10K to the highest uh, 1 million. And you can do also some other uh, adjustments in here. Okay, so it's uh, adjusted for the color that I want. Now, this is the hardest point that everybody gets stuck on. All you need to do is, is we need to basically form this into a bar chart. And how we're going to do that is we want a bar chart of just one value for each one of these columns. So the easiest way to do that is either select the names data point or the category data point. So let's start with the, we'll just do the names data point. So we'll take names and we're gonna throw it into size, okay? And we're gonna also, like I said, we need this to be a bar. So we're gonna throw this into bar. Now it's gonna throw this error um, because we're not aggregating it and we need to aggregate it to actually make it into bar. So what you need to do is change it into count distinct, all right? And now this is getting closer to what we want. We still need to, we won't want these gaps in here. And also it's a little bit hard to read. So we're going to change it and change it uh, the size of the bar. So that way it fills up the whole entire graph. And bam, we have it conditionally formatted. Now, if that was a little confusing, let's just recap real quick using the category to also show how it can be done. So I'm going to remove the names from here. And I'm going to change this back to what we were at previously. We were at automatic. So this is what we were at previously. So similar, you could do names or I could, once again, I could grab the category, take the category, I throw it into size. And then from there, I need to change it to bar. And it's going to throw the error once again. And I change the measure to count distinct because there's only going to be one per name. Bam. And then it's there. So that wraps up how you conditionally format a table in Tableau. Hope this is useful specifically for those coming from Excel uh, like me. This was super complicated to try to figure out. And I feel like this is a very easy solution to implement for your future tables. As a quick shout out, this video is part of a series where we go from importing data from Google Sheets all the way to getting it into a live updated dashboard in Tableau Public.
And as you can see from the dashboard, this dashboard, we build it to uh, track the employee performance of those in the Superstore data set. If that project seems interesting, please consider subscribing. Also, if you found this video useful, please like the video. Um, also, comment down below on things that you struggle with Tableau that you'd like to know more about. I'd like to guide this tutorial series more to fit the need of the audience. Thanks for your time and hope to see you again.